Most of my life I've been very creative and I'm more like a guy who puzzles things together, you know. I'm not like inventing the wheel again, but I uh, see lots of different parts that I can combine and I create something that I have in mind. And I think that's the creative skills I appreciate the most to make a final product. I think it was in 92 that I first saw Lowrider Bicycle magazine and it was a model car that was actually hopping. And I was like, whoa, you can do that with a model car. You can actually put like motors inside the model car. You can make them hop, you can make them bounce and make them go sideways and everything. And I became more involved in uh, building low riding model cars. I thought it was maybe a phase, you know, in my life. It was like, maybe I do this for one year, maybe two years, but it stuck with me because there's so much creativity going on, especially in the lower and the model cars, but with the paint jobs and different styles, and especially creating the hydraulics because I'm mainly busy with creating low rider model cars and hydraulics. Just to get it better and better and make it more authentic, that, that's basically my goal. And now I'm already doing it for 22 years. So I kept doing it because I'm just simply fascinated by it still. Growing up was kind of difficult for me because I still am a little bit of a lone wolf. I've always been like that. I've always been like the boy in his room creating stuff or be outside on the streets on his own skateboarding or skateboarding with his friends. So I'm really an independent person. I think that made me into the person I am today. I went to the School of Graphic Arts. I did that for eight years. Later on, I went to Art Academy. I did that for maybe a year and a half because I felt it didn't fit in. Then I started for myself and I started doing video magazines, building skateboard parks and basically everything that inspired me, just what I had in my mind, I could create. And that was something I was really blessed with, that I could school myself, and teach myself to learn stuff to create what I had in mind. 2003, I started to build my first RC lower the model car. And that was tricky at first. I started using toy RC components. I later worked with more professional RC products like Boogie Nights. It's a collaboration between me and Armando Flores. I developed a new type of setup with servos, micro servos that I modify. So they can lift the rear and lift the front and direct control of the servos, pushing down the cylinders to lift the rear of the car. What motivated me most creating the lower model cars was to get the motions of the car. And later on, it became more my focus to create the look as well as the wheels and everything. Now it's a total thing, make a complete lower the model car that looks authentic and that works authentic and that can hop and can steer and everything. So that's my motivation right now to build the best working lower the model car as possible.